This is Hari Yama from Institute for Nanosuit Research at Hamamatsu University School of Medicine. We have invented a technology to make nano thin films from polymer solutions. Using this technology, living organisms can be easily observed with a scanning electron microscope. Please take a look at our video. From the 17th century, people began to observe various small objects using an optical microscope. In the field of life science, it has been elucidated that organisms are composed of cells. The electron microscope, which was invented in the 1930s, came to be used for observation in the life science field about 20 years later. The reason is that organisms contain as much as 80% water. People who have acquired observation techniques for biological samples have discovered that there are organelles, which are subunit within a cell and that viruses exist as pathogens. The development of microscope observation technology has brought about many paradigm shifts. This is the larvae of Drosophila. If a living body containing 80% water is placed in an electron microscope, it will be dehydrated and dried. It is natural. This is because the electron microscope has a degree of vacuum close to the outer space. Hydra, planarian, and mosquito larvae are dried up like this, but the larvae of Drosophila can be observed as it is. And it moves in the electron microscope. There is an important secret. The life in an electron microscope can be maintained if they were irradiated immediately by electron beam. The left side is a photo of the fixed drying process that many researchers are currently doing. The picture of the larvae of Drosophila moving in the previous video is in the middle. You can see that the appearance is completely different. When the surface was observed with a transmission electron microscope, it was found that a very thin film was formed. This film seems to play the same role as the space suit. By irradiating the electron beam of the microscope, mucus on the surface of larvae was molecularly bonded to form a nano-thin film, and became a spacesuit to protect larvae. Yes, in order to maintain life in a high vacuum, it is necessary to have the same function as a spacesuit. I thought it would be possible to keep mosquito larvae alive that would die from drying out in an electron microscope. A nanosuit solution was created by mimicking the mucus of larvae of Drosophila. If a nanosuit solution is applied in advance to a mosquito larva that might dry and die in an electron microscope, it can be observed alive without drying. You can observe its movement. It was also confirmed that breeding an individual observed in an electron microscope for a short time would result in an adult mosquito. It is also possible to observe at high magnification. Let's look inside the mouth of the mosquito larva. You can see many small bumpy structures. As you increase the magnification, you can observe individual cells. In addition to electron beam irradiation, it was confirmed that the same effect was obtained by applying a nanosuit solution to mosquito larvae and then plasma irradiation. 
In the conventional method, sample preparation takes about one to two days, but in the nanosuit method, observation can be started in a few minutes. Since we were able to put a nanosuit membrane on a living organism, we thought that we could form a self-supporting membrane. Plasma was applied to the spin-coated solution. Nanosuit membranes can be made from a variety of compounds, and biocompatible molecules can be selected. This self-supporting membrane does not dissolve in water, ethanol, or xylene. It has been found that self-supporting films can be formed from various solutions. We think that a covalent bond is formed by plasma irradiation. The nanosuit method can also be applied to the observation of tissues and cultured cells. This photo shows the morphological difference between the conventional method and the nanosuit method. The nanosuit method can be observed without any damage in tissues and cells. Considering medical applications, we have made it possible to observe liquid biopsy and changes in the shape of infected cells. When the electron microscope is observed with the nanosuit method, the cells can be observed while wet. This is stomach cancer tissue. It can be observed immediately by the nanosuit method. The nanosuit method can add conductivity to the sample, so elemental analysis using EDS is also possible. Elemental analysis can be performed on various tissues and cells with wet condition. It can also be used for virus identification and quantification. Exosomes can also be observed. With this method, observation using an optical microscope and a scanning electron microscope can be performed back and forth, that is correlative light and electron microscope. This is an optical microscope photograph stained with hematoxylin and eosin. This is a specimen of a person who died of sepsis due to bacillus infection. You can see the collective image of the bacteria, but it is not clear. The cover glass of the slide was removed, and the same part was able to observe with an electron microscope using the nanosuit method. It can be observed immediately after removing the cover glass with applying the nanosuit solution. There is no charge up. Obviously you can observe the collective image of bacteria, which is bacilli. If you zoom in on the same part, you can clearly see individual bacillus. This is a light microscopic image of cells infected with cytomegalovirus. Although it is a relatively large virus, it cannot be seen. Same as before, you can remove the cover glass and observe the same part with an electron microscope using the nanosuit method. If you enlarge the part enclosed in yellow, we were able to observe cytomegalovirus particles on the cell surface. Using this nanosuit method, this specimen can be restained, sealed in a covered glass, and stored. When we observe the fine structure of this plant's pansy, we need the additional nanosuit solution to keep the structure. We compared by three method. One is conventional method, the other one is nanosuit method. You can see the apparent structural differences. The cone on the surface of the petal was flat in the conventional method. In addition to the nanosuit method, we tried to use the cryo-scanning electron microscope method. We could obtain almost same results. You can use both method to see the real structure but this one is too expensive for me. Did you enjoy the video? The nanosuit method is very easy and convenient. Please try it. Nanosuit solution is commercially available from Nishin EM in Japan. For more information, 
please see the home page at http colon slash slash nissin em dot co dot jp slash english slash index dot html Thank you.